Greetings and welcome to our daily walk through the scripture for February the 14th. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Hallmark Day. Uh, you know, as a side note, just as a fun thing, you might go look up the origins of Valentine's Day. There's actually some really beautiful story in there, uh, and it is uh, a Christian origin to it. So go take a look at it. Uh, I think you'll find it worth your time, uh, and maybe it is more than a bit of a Hallmark Day. Even though we've taken it and turned it into something a little over the top, uh, I, I think it'll be worth your time. Our readings today came out of Exodus chapter 37 and 38, Matthew chapter 28, Finished out Psalm 34, and we're Proverbs chapter 9, verses 9 through 10. Now, I wanted to give you a word um, of encouragement uh, as you read Exodus 37, and as we finish out the book of Exodus and transition over into Leviticus, this is where it starts to get a little bit difficult. Uh, this is where it, it kind of gets a little detail-oriented on some things that, that we look at and we may not relate to as much. Stick with it, Okay. As you read this, I want you to pray that God reveals his beauty in this to you. And hopefully our conversations will help that along the way. And we'll talk about a variety of different things as they come up. Uh, but but stick with it. Uh, you know, as we read about the building of the altar and the specification to the altar and, and them looking at the tabernacle and them putting on the priestly garments, we'll, we'll, we'll get into that stuff. Um, but, you know, just, just stick with it. Hang in there. I, I promise you there is great beauty to be found in it. Uh, and, and you might find that they end up being some of your favorite books. It's happened before. Uh, so we are going to wrap up, though, Matthew chapter 28, because you can't, um, well, you just can't leave it. I mean, we, we left, the last we saw is was Jesus died on the cross. Uh, and we had the centurion saying that surely this was the Son of, Son of God. So here we are, um, Matthew 28. And it says, After the Sabbath, at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. Okay. Side note, um, why do we say that Jesus was uh, buried for three days? Because he, he really wasn't. He was crucified on Friday, and he came uh, on Sunday. That's when he was raised, what we call the Lord's Day. That's actually just two days by our reckoning. Yes, but that's not how Jewish calendar works. That's not how Jewish time works. Uh, each day counts as its own day, meaning that Friday is day one. Even though he died on Friday, it's not by overnight. It's the day that it happened. So Friday is the day he died. Saturday he was in the tomb. Sunday he was raised. So Friday day one, Saturday day two, Sunday day three. Just answering that question as we get into this. Uh, so then there was a violent earthquake. A chapter Verse two tells us, and an angel of the Lord came and he rolled the stone away. And the guards were so afraid that they ran off, that actually, excuse me, that they shook and became like dead men. And we know at some point they ran off, uh, according to other um, testimony that we see in some of the other Gospels. The angel said to the woman, don't be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. Uh, other testimony says that we see this angel appearing before them, maybe sitting on a rock. Uh, we know that the angel appears before these women, though, Mary and the other Mary. Don't be afraid, for I know you're looking for Jesus who was crucified, but he is not here. He is risen, just as he said. I love this. This is so great. This is this is where Matthew, and this is why Matthew does what he does. You might read this and go, man, this is a really short account of Jesus' resurrection. There were a lot of things that happened. You're right. You're exactly right. And we see that in some of the other gospel accountings, that there is more detail to be had. But that wasn't the purpose of Matthew. Remember what the purpose was? It was to show that Jesus was and is the Jewish Messiah, that he was in the lineage of David, that he came from David just as promised, and he is this Messiah as promised to the people of Israel. And so Matthew's not concerned a whole lot about what happens afterward because his mission was to show that this is exactly who he was. So he's mission accomplished. And once again, he tells us just as he said, this is as the prophecies were fulfilled. You know, I once read that there were over 300 prophecies made about the Messiah. I don't know, however, actually many there are, because sometimes it feels like we, we pull these random prophecies of the Messiah out, but we do know that there are a lot. There are an incredible, well over 100 prophecies of the Messiah that are very, very clear. And so to look at these things and to hear it just as he said is really an, incre an incredible testimony to how meticulous God is in making sure that there was no doubt as to who Jesus claimed to be. 
that he really is who he says he was. It's really, truly a humbling thing that God would go to every single aspect of it. I mean, the odds of it, I know that statisticians have created the odds, and honestly, the odds are they're infinitesimal. They are so small that they're not even worth calculating. You have greater odds of being struck by lightning multiple times than for the Messiah to actually happen how he did and coming exactly, fulfilling every single prophecy. So that's where Jesus gives power to the disciples in verse 18, 18 to wrap this up. He came to them and said, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. As if they didn't know this already, Jesus is making this very clear that I can therefore tell you to go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I've commanded you. And surely I'm with you always to the very end of the age. What a beautiful way to end this accounting of Jesus. And next time we're going to start into Mark and we're going to start looking at some of those. Have a blessed day and remember that he is risen and surely he is with us to the very end of the age. Have a blessed day.